What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys another exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. So we have, for the very first time on the channel, a TACCOM knife. Now, I did purchase this knife off of our good buddy Lefty Kevin over there. So huge shout out to him for letting me pick this bad boy up. If you are not familiar, head over to Lefty EDC. He is a fantastic guy, makes some great content. So what do we have coming in from TACCOM? I believe this one is the Chimera. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe, yeah, I believe this is or the Chimera, Chimera, I guess is how it would be pronounced. And I actually was not uh, sure what blade shape this was. Uh, I just, I was really interested in taking a look at something that wasn't Microtech or Axial. You know, I wanted to check out something that was a little bit different and this kind of fit the bill. Uh, very well made, or at least that has, that's been what I've heard. Uh, I've heard TACCOM makes a very good OTF. This is going to be coming in 154 CM. So that's a cool choice for an OTF. We don't see that a whole lot. Uh, more nowadays, we see M390. We see some Magna Cut. Uh, but uh, 154, that's a, that's a great steal. And this is a... I don't have a dagger style OTF, so kind of fitting it is this kind of OTF. Uh, like I said, I didn't know what blade shape that it was uh, when I told Kev I would take it. I just, I, I didn't pay any mind to which one, which color, which blade, uh, and I don't know if they offer different blade shapes. That's something we can cover in the overview. Uh, this is just an unboxing, guys. I'm just doing a first impressions on this guy right out of the box. This is the first time taking a look at this knife. I literally just pulled it out of the mailer, and I actually forgot what OTF it was from TACCOM. Uh, but we have some textured aluminum handles here. This is a fairly, it's a fairly good size, and it's also fairly light. This, uh would be very easy to kind of wield. Uh, now, of course, this blade shape is going to be, you know, more based around poking, that type of thing. Uh, but you could definitely do some day-to-day -day tasks with this guy. And that's pretty cool. You have a sharpening choil on this side, sharpening choil on this side. So, and, and that makes sense. Uh, but like I said, I never had a dagger style OTF and it looks pretty even everything looks pretty symmetrical which i believe is very hard to do uh it looks very very close very nice let's see on yeah even on both sides it seems to be very very symmetrical on both ends and I believe that's very hard to achieve uh, so that's uh pretty pretty impressive and the button on this or the switch I should say it's nice you have a little bit of take up here and then you hit this wall and then once you hit that wall it fires right out and as far as the sending it back home as soon as you put, well, no, there's a little bit of slide there. And then once you get about a quarter of the way, about half, it sends it home. So it's a little bit more on the open, I think. Yeah, a little bit more on the open. And then once you get there, it pushes it out. And then as far as, oh, it's about the same. I guess I... It just feels a little shorter on the downward for some reason. But no, it's about, it's exactly the same. Yeah. And just getting in uh, a new OTF from Axial, one of their brand new models. Uh, 
USA made uh, an EMP EDC design. That is extremely well done. And in comparison, uh, you know, all things considered, especially factoring in price. Uh, now, of course, these are not USA made, but uh, they come in at a very reasonable price. And aluminum, 154, and then a solid OTF build. Uh, these come in at like 170, I want to say, on their website. So, you know, if they have or if they're carried by other retailers, uh, might be able to get them at a little bit better of a price. But uh, I'm not sure what retailers, if any, carry TACCOM at least right now. So even though this is an OTF, we'll run through some of the uh, utility checks here. We'll check what it looks like in the pocket. We do have a deep carry clip here, but we will have the glass breaker kind of poking out there no matter what. Now, I don't know if that's removable. It might be removable. I don't know for sure, but uh, the knife for... The, the most part will be below the pocket. Now you will have, like I said, the little gla grass bra glass breaker poking out of the pocket a little bit. Some people, you know, don't want that, won't buy this knife just because of that. Uh, some people don't care either way and some people love them. Uh, I kind of fall right in the middle, I guess. I would you know, on most of them prefer they don't have it right, but it's not enough for me, obviously not to, you know, it's not a deal breaker. Uh, so not a big deal. And someday <laughs> if, you know, if you're lucky enough to be carrying this, but in a bad enough situation where you need to break some glass, uh, you will have that. Now it looks like you might be able to reverse this clip, but maybe not. I don't know that for sure, but it looks like you might be able to, and it looks like the window breaker or the glass breaker is going to be what holds that on. Uh, but we'll have to, I'll have to dive in and see, and then we'll know more in the overview, but that's just what it looks like here uh, without really taking it apart or, you know, messing with that. Uh, and I don't know if Lefty had this in a pass around, one of his pass arounds. I am in his pass around, but uh, it's not a knife that, you know, I paid a whole lot of attention to previously uh, just because I have so much other stuff going on that, you know, I don't get in on a whole lot of pass around knives. Uh, not many at all. We can, however, check this edge. Now, keep in mind, this may have been passed around and may have been used some. So this is not technically going to be a fresh edge right from the box, or at least it's a, it's a question mark. So let's see what we have here. The cool thing about a dagger like this is you have basically twice the amount of cutting edge uh, because both sides are going to be sharpened. Sometimes it feels sharp and then other times, let's flip it around. Yeah, see that edge on the reverse side is that is sharp. That side is still pretty sharp, but not near as sharp as the reverse side. That one just wants to bite right in where it takes a little bit more effort to get this guy going. Still has a good edge on it though. And the 154 CM been around a long time. It's a great all around steel. We can uh, check that on some cardboard and see see if we can tell any more on that edge. So we'll check both sides of this edge and see what they both look like. This will be the reverse side. 
there is some tape on this side so it will get held up there just a little bit it feels pretty thin or no i'm sorry that was the main side this is the flip side and you can definitely tell the main edge has been used where the other side doesn't feel it's still i think it's lost its bite as far as the main edge uh but it's still sharp where the other side still has its fine edge so if both sides are nice and sharp you're going to get quite a bit of retention out of this just because you have double you know if this was just your standard drop point you know you would only have this one side but now because we add in the dagger you are going to inherently have double the amount of edge so that is pretty cool if this is kind of if this is in your you know, something you enjoy or something you're looking at. Now, I think they do offer some other shapes, but I'm not sure. We could look and find out fairly easily here. So we're looking at, let's see, that's going to be about three and a quarter of cutting edge on the main side. And then it should be, unless it is a little shorter over there, which it looks like it might be. About three and a quarter on the main side, and then coming down to the tail there, eight and a quarter. Let's flip this guy over. I'm kind of interested now. So, yes, it is. It is a quite a bit shorter, and it's looking like two and 15 sixteenths, so just shy of three inches. So that's pretty cool. So... You're, you're getting quite a bit of edge with this guy, and it's a good size. As far as the main handle is concerned, we'll just go from the middle there to the middle there. And we're looking about four and a half strong. So even if you have double XL size hands, you are going to easily fit on this handle. I still have quite a bit poking out back there. And even in a standard, you know, non-choked up grip back here in the regular position, I still have quite a bit of room back here. And that's the cool thing about how this is designed. You can get right up behind that edge, and that's going to give you quite a bit of control over this blade. And it stays fairly thin. It is short as far as the grind goes, but it's a fairly thin blade. Definitely not going to be, you know, a thin slicer like the TRM Atom, which is one I always say. But uh, it should be a pretty good cutter, you know, once it gets stropped or sharpened up. I think uh, it would make a fine day-to-day -day EDC knife. And as far as the spring action goes, I think it's really solid. I put it... Maybe not up there with the best of the best, but uh, I would put it just under those. It's got good, strong springs. There's a tiny bit of movement in there, but not... And it's mainly just up and down. Just a tiny, tiny little bit of movement. Not much. Just a little bit, and I really got a wrench on it side to side. There's no movement. I can feel if I really wrench on it, I can feel it kind of pulling side to side, but it's not really the blade per se wiggling. This up and down, it is side to side, not so much, but that is pretty much routine for most OTF autos like this. Very few have no play. But uh, I, that's no cause for concern and not an issue at all. Uh, I think the switch is nice. It's got a nice stepped pattern all the way up it till you get to the middle. And then the same on the reverse side. I think it's comfortable, easy to open and close. So yeah, I think TACCOM definitely has kind of their own style. 
and they got their own switch and I think they got something I don't know if they do folders or if it's just autos it looks like so it does look like you can get a variety of so you can get a Warren cliff you can get a spear point which is what this guy is classified as a spear point and then so they have worn cliff spear point in the chimera and then they have satins they have two tones uh and this is going to fall under that two tone with the dlc and then the satin which i think looks good the all satin one looks good as well but uh I don't know. I think I might prefer this. It's kind of hard to tell without having it in hand. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely cool. They got a nice hard case, decent presentation, a uh, little bit different of a hard case. And then it comes with a little TACCOM welcoming note or sticker or something. Sticker, I guess. So, for the money... Uh, they seem like a pretty good offering to me. Uh, I have to try to get some more samples from them, directly from them. You know, get get them in on the channel if that's possible. And check out some other ones and really get a better idea. You'll have to let me know what you think of this guy down in the comments. Let me know if you have any Tacom knives or any experience with them. Handled one maybe had one and sold it, maybe you are looking at one currently, or if you aren't doing any of those things, let me know what you're carrying. Love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one.